Can you imagine jumping the height of a two-story building using a 14-foot pole? I can't. When I step out there to take a jump, the first thing that I do is just because I'm about to sprint all out and fling myself into the air with an inanimate object. <laughs> when you make a bar, you know you're making the bar. And it's just sheer joy and adrenaline. I mean, I'm getting, like, my hair is standing on end just thinking about it. This is The Science of Pole Vault with Sandy Morris. Ah! Woo! I'm David Wong. I'm a primary sports medicine physician at HSS. Sandy Morris, S-A-N-D with an I, Morris. What do you think? Olympic medalist pole vaulter? Two-time Olympic pole vaulter? Two-time Olympian? <laughs> when I see Sandy Morris do the pole vault, I mean, I see a very complete athlete, a perfect combination of sprinter, a good jumper, and then she has to be a gymnast, and it's something that not a lot of people can do. I come from a sports family. My parents were track athletes, and track runs in my blood. So I tried just about every event in track and field, and pole vault is the one that just really stuck. Sticky. Can you see this? And then going on to become a two-time Olympian, winning a medal at the Olympics, two-time world champion, and American record holder. Never would have dreamed I'd make it this far, honestly. So you don't know how far you'll go until you try. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> pole vault is figuring out how to take all of this energy, put it into the pole, and get as much of that energy back out the top of the pole as you possibly can. Speed is very important when it comes to being able to launch yourself in the air. That is where the energy comes from. These pole vaulters are amazing. They're fast, they're powerful, and they're dynamic. At the start of the runway, Sandy is about 95 feet from the box. When you're at the back of the runway, you have to, it's like containing a beast, controlling the beast. It has to be powerful, but it has to be like an arrow, it has to be precise. She has to build up as much speed as possible. And don't forget, while she's doing this, she has to hold a 14-foot pole. The pole is pretty much straight up and down, and it weighs almost nothing. You want the pole to be just slightly angled when you take off running to where it's going to go with you, and then it's going to be ready to fall when you're ready to drop the pole. So the mid is where pole drop is going from here to there in six steps. And when you start dropping it, it gets heavy. The sprint phase is the most critical component to the pole vault because that's where Sandy is building all the energy for her jump. She's using a lot of her lower body muscles, her calves, her quads, her glutes, her core to build up as much speed as she can. Once you get beyond your mid mark, it's go time, baby. You're dropping the pole. The goal is to let it effortlessly fall, and you want all of your energy to be forward. You don't want to be leaning back. You don't want to be hesitating. You want to be attacking, you want your hips and your feet underneath you so that you are ready to jump off the ground. And you want your rhythm to be like, and get faster through the takeoff, accelerating through the takeoff. It has to be, I'm all in, and you're taking off. As she jumps, she's using those same muscles to leap off the ground. Driving my knee as tall as you can. Once she's in the air, she then has to use her core and upper body strength to swing herself and turn herself upside down so she can start moving in a more vertical direction. So imagine that's the sky, that's the ground. You're upside down, and all you have to do is crank and finish the jump. So you're going to use your shoulders, your lats, all of your core, your hips, and you're going to do an Olympic move, basically. So it's shoulders, grip, boom, and it's hip power. got to execute. The reason we do everything that we do is to get your core and your hips extremely strong to where you have the strength and the power to swing yourself upside down. It's going to launch you if you stay tight to the pole. Use those arms, use those shoulders, use your grip too. It's a lot of grip strength to just right. I didn't mean to make that noise, but it makes it very dramatic. <laughs> Once you're down the runway, you've made the bar, that's when I can just go crazy like, ah! just like, let it all out. 
at the end, you, you don't realize once you've cleared the bar and you're hopefully celebrating, you now have a near 16 foot fall you have to land from safely and make sure your body's in a position to land without injuring yourself. I mean, that's insane. Yeah, it's like, it's, you know, once you've cleared the bar, your job's not done. I mean, they make it look easy, but they, they're 16 feet in the air at the top of their jump. To be the world's greatest, you have to have relentless drive because this game is hard. And when you're at this level, you can be 2% off. And that is the difference between not making a final and winning a gold medal. That's how close it is. You will very rarely come across a sprinter or jumper who does not do Olympic lifts. And that's because our events are very explosive and Olympic lifting goes hand in hand with being explosive. It's really one of the only ways where you can isolate the muscles that is where speed and power comes from. I have some big goals for this year. I'm not playing around. I've been through a lot the last few years. Rio 2016, I was young and green. I won a medal at the Olympics. We had to wait five years because of COVID. I went to Tokyo and in Tokyo, unfortunately, I broke a pole and it strained my hip flexor. And it was really devastating to have to leave my second Olympics with an injury. But I'm not gonna lie to you. I've always been a good third attempter. This is my coach. And so Paris would be my third Olympics. And I know that I still have all the tools in the bag that I've always had, but I have to stay the course. I have to keep my head down. I have to keep training. I have to do all of the things, all the things right. And if I'm lucky, all of it will come together and the stars will align. And this summer I will be vying for that gold medal.